Hello, and thank you for stopping by yet another edition of the Massachusetts Beer Reviews channel of YouTube. It is a nice, lovely around 68 degrees with a little bit of humidity outside it. Finally, is really feeling like summer wants to come to southeastern Massachusetts. Oh, I'm Thomas Mouse 75 and this is your Massachusetts Beer Review. Now, I know you all want me to do very relatable beers to you, but if you can get this in your area or your John and Illion recently in 2020 got some of this brand's beer from Craft Beer Pours channel on YouTube, then you will like this review. It is Melker Street IPA, India Pale Ale, from the good folks at Trillium Brewing Company here in Massachusetts, either at 50 Thompson Place in Boston, Massachusetts, or in my neck of the woods, 110 Shamut Road, Canton, Massachusetts. This was canned on 4-27-2020. Not extremely, extremely old. Cheers to Blake. And Melker Street is brewed with two American two-row barley, white wheat, and C15 malts, and mosaic and Columbus hops. 7.2% alcohol by volume. This came in a four-pack, so I bought the four-pack for $17.20. This popular edition in our street series of India Pale Ale spotlights the remarkably complex mosaic hop. Melker Street is a hazy pale orange, is hazy pale orange in appearance, and emits aromatic qualities of grapefruit, mild, earthy pine, and mango on the nose. Dank flavors of pine and green hop along with juicy notes of tropical fruit, melon, and peach are accentuated by the crisp <laughs> malt character, mild bitterness, and a soft effervescent mouth feel. So let's just get right into that one. Cheers to the chat. Cheers to Ronald Sutton, who says, I'm the man. Uh, you are the man. I appreciate you. And Beer Man is talking to Blake. Hi, Beer Man. All right. Whole can is not in there yet in this Spiegelau Pilsner or Spiegelau IPA glass. I mean, it is hazy orange, sort of lemony yellow. Definitely more orange than this lemony yellow in the in my eyes. And look at that nice bright white head. It is all kinds of effervescent. It just looks like a fantastic brew. Woo! That is still pretty fresh. It's all kinds of oily, dank, earthy um, notes to that. Yeah. Definitely the rind in that white part, the pith of like grapefruit and oranges. Definitely that berry note from Mosaic Hops comes right through on this brew. And maybe definitely a lemony or a lemongrass kind of note. There's definitely a tart kind of a, an acidic note, but nothing too strong. Definitely nice white bready malt. Um, like an upside down pineapple cake or some kind of fruity, desserty, kind of a tropical feel to that one. Not really sweet, 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 but it's reminding me of some tropical type of dessert thing. So, uh, yeah. Cheers. This is Melker Street, New England IPA, Trillium. And I apologize, you cannot relate to this if you cannot get the beer. Ooh, there it is drying. It's got a little bit of like that milky lactic texture. I would say more like actual milk when it when it dries. I'm getting spicy hop zing to it. I'm getting that berry note. Probably blueberry is where I'm thinking on, on, on my brain piece on that one. Definitely that sweet lemon cake, sponge cake thing. Uh, mangoes, uh, pineapple, like the upside down pineapple cake thing I was talking about uh oranges lots of grapefruit in this one um it's a little bit of a toasty malt not much of it it's a white bread it's it's sweet underneath and almost there there's a little bit of lingering sweetness but mostly it's pretty dry afterwards 
It does have a medium texture towards the light side. It's got a very Pilsner malty kind of a crisp, clean once it dries. It's pretty good shit. Uh, that, it's a, that's an amazing beer. You can tell that it's higher. Well, let's be honest. You can tell that it's higher than like a 5% Budweiser feeling ABV, but it really doesn't feel that, that, that big or that super large. So, um, I mean, yeah, the, their street series is just amazing. My favorite of all time is the Congress Street IPA, which I did a review on. So go check that one out. Um, the Melker Street here that I'm drinking now also comes in a double dry hopped variety, which still use the Columbus and Mosaic. And in that one, um, they feature a heavy dose of the mosaic hops their dried hop dry hopped version so they're also using besides two row american barley white wheat and c15 they're using dextrin and dextrose i i, I figure it's going to be a little bit more hop forward so they want to balance out the malty sweetness with the beer so yeah it's still 7.2 um i don't know what this beer got on beer advocate the melker street i got no clue but um I'm going to give that a 94. This is slowly becoming one of my favorite Trillium IPAs of all times. I know, uh, is it Stillings Street? That's what uh, uh, the craft beer pours uh, people, uh, Brandon and Trish, really like to drink. I don't think I've ever had that. I'm going to have to find that because that's just what they love. Um, go support uh, craft beer pour CBP on YouTube. They sent also John and Nilly. Uh, in May 2020, a couple of Trillium beers he really likes. So go look for uh, John Anilli's channel. Uh, every one you drink makes you want more. Yeah. Of these kind of beers, it does. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a 94. It's just easy on the palate. Just a little bit of meat on the bone. So, fucking, yeah, man. Cheers to Blake TV. Go look for him at 9 Eastern Daylight Time, p.m. tonight, Friday's. Ronald Sutton, go look for him when he joins on Jay Terrio and Bumpy Road Breweries shows. And Beer Man, he does Tuesdays with Tuesdays at 9 Eastern Daylight Time with uh, cheese pairings of beer. And he does Thursdays, 9 Eastern Standard Time or so of jerky and beer. So go follow him. And I think Wednesdays, that guy's brewing beer. The community is awesome. I couldn't be any more proud during the uh, pandemic to still have people to uh, shoot the shit about beer with, even if sometimes it's a little too much we drink. But uh, 94, Mocha Street IPA. Let's get out of here. And until next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I'll see you soon.